Man, I guess I got some competition. Even though I couldn't get the job done tonight against John Cena, trust me, with you guys cheering me on, I will come back stronger. And as for Roman Reigns, I don't want to spend too long talking about the so-called tribal chief, but we do have some history. But I'm not the same man that wronged him three years ago, and all I ask is that Roman, you understand where I was coming from before. That desperation, that hunger, manifested into something that I didn't like. Well, I can assure you I will never do anything that heinous again, and I will not turn my back on you people. But Roman, if you want to fight, I'll be right here next week. We can settle this if you're up for it. And as for uh, metal wrestling, I just wanted to thank all of you for coming out tonight to show your support for this new company. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. We are changing the professional wrestling business with this man, and it's awesome that I get to be a part of it. Everyone who knows me has asked me how I'm feeling, if I'm really excited. The answer I, I keep kind of giving everybody is, it's just a really heavy feeling. You know, when I first got into NLW, I was solely in that system, and I had that dream of getting to the top, and, you know, dreams are like rivers, as the Garth Brooks song says, and it veered and it changed. And then we were able to do what we were able to do with this metal brand, and I became Intercontinental Champion. That's something that I'm very proud of, but to be able to revisit those dreams I had, the thing I set out to do in the first place, when I didn't think I would get that chance, it's just heavy. And even now, thinking about it is heavy. So yeah, all the feelings, happy, excited, pressure, responsibility, all of it. But I don't know how I'm going to feel until I finally achieve that dream I set out to accomplish all those years ago. To become the metalweight champion. The champion of the world. Your champion representing you people, I'm going to win it not for me, but for you people, because you believe in me, and I will not let you down. This phase right now just kind of seems like a culmination of my whole career, but I don't want to jinx it just yet. I don't want to put any hyperbole out there, but I'm almost like the only hero you guys have left. And... I assure you, it's a responsibility that I take very seriously. You know, I have a little story, and forgive me for using insider terms, maybe I'm a bit of a mark for myself. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the president of this company, re-signed me, and I told him what I truly believe, and it's that I am the best wrestler in the world. And that's no disrespect to CM Punk or John Cena or anyone on this show, but... To go further with it, I actually don't think there's a close second. But with that said, the opportunity now exists to prove it, and that's exactly what I'm most excited about. You see, it's a completely different individual returning to the game now. It's a different brand. It's someone who's experienced all of the wonders of independent wrestling, of traveling internationally, of being able to get on the ground with the fans that make this whole ship move. But different person or not, I'm still that little kid that wants to be the champion of the world for my dad. The American dream, Dusty Rhodes, baby. And I want to achieve that dream for him. I want to achieve that dream for you because I truly believe I'm the best in the world today. Ah, she hears it all the time, hey babe? Everybody, here is my beautiful wife, Brandy. Isn't she gorgeous? You know, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be where I am, so Brandy, I thank you. But uh, as I was saying, for a long, long time... Hey, hey guys, just let me, let me finish my point, please. For a long, long time, I was kind of undesirable. That's where the whole mantra came from. The whole promo I cut of desirable to undeniable. To be able to return on your own terms kind of feels like being in the military and having conquered something or having won this battle and being able to stand and keep your chin up parallel with the floor and being able to come in that fashion a bit of a, a conquering hero and that's how I see it in my dreams I am your conquering hero here to be your champion champion hey look who it is 
Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Am I going long? Okay. Now Ricky says I'm going long. Okay, okay. You know, I remember you telling me off as a kid when I was running in the hallway at the garden too, Ricky. So, yeah. I'll wrap it up, man. I'll wrap it up. Ah, uh, this legend here, Ricky, the dragon, he is training the future of metal, so give him a round of applause. Yeah, give it up. All right, I gotta go now, and I guess you all gotta go too, but I'll leave you with this. From a man born to do this, you people may not have had the same privileges that I had, but you know what? When I finally become metalweight champion and lead this company that I love into the future, just remember, it's for all of you. Thank you, and have a great night from all of us here at Metal Wrestling, the future of professional wrestling. <laughs>